First of all, check out the Docker cheat sheets that I created. They're really great resources for remembering the common things that you're going to be doing inside of Docker configuration as well as command line. Secondly, create a batch script. You know, if, whether it's a, a bash shell script or .cmd file on Windows, just create a simple batch script to run this command for you. And then you can just go and update this command anytime you need to change the way your container is configured. Just have your common set of options for this particular project put in there. And it's it's pretty simple to basically automate this crazy command line that's that's becoming way out of hand. Moving on though, I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. We are going to get our application up and running, except I can never seem to remember. Except as, as I'm sitting here explaining to you, of course, I got the parameter name incorrect. I need to do dash dash name express dev. Wow, that is, if that is not incredibly telling about why you should be creating a batch script to execute this for you, then I don't know what is. Seriously, I just told you to automate this because it's hard to remember, and then I got it wrong. And I did not do that intentionally. That was that was incredibly telling on why you should do that. All right, I'm gonna hit enter one more time here. Hopefully we'll get it right this time. <laughs> 